Hey there, Cancer. How's it going? We're going to get started on your psychic tarot reading for the month of October. Cancer, this reading is good for the first half of the month from the 1st to the 15th. All right, Cancer, let's begin right away. If you're new to my channel, welcome for the rest of you, my faithful viewers and subscribers. Thank you so much for your love and for your continued support. All right, Cancer, we're using the Monsters Tarot in honor of Halloween this October. And we're starting off your reading by taking a look at what is haunting you that's right cancer what is haunting you this first half of the month let's see in this god forsaken month of october <laughs> what is haunting cancer let's take a look what is haunting cancer oh it's reversed the night the knight of pentacles guys it's what's haunting you and it's reversed interesting so there seems to be a halt some, there's a situation, something that is not progressing and moving forward. Perhaps either it has come to a complete stall, right? Things are moving a lot slower, or maybe these are plans, a situation that's unfolding in a way that maybe you do not like, okay? The Knights of Pentacles. Here we have two gentlemen that are looking at, I don't know, a letter and it's reversed so yeah guys i feel like this is just um uh, uh seems as though like a bump in the road okay this is what's haunting you let's let's continue the knight of pentacles guys there is something as well perhaps that you're not um investing your time and your energy as much anymore maybe this is a plan this is a goal something you started off last week last last month and it started off very well you're making progress and now this time around uh about that about that uh we have the seven of claws oh, oh it goes <laughs> it goes because it's the seven of swords guys the seven of claws the seven of swords is definitely something that you have not followed through with guys something or maybe this is somebody that it has not followed through with a certain commitment with a certain plan i forgot no, 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 not with the seven of swords. The seven of swords doesn't forget. The seven of swords does it on purpose. So what is this about? This is what's haunting you guys. So this is either you, Cancer, or this is somebody that you're dealing with. Somebody at work. Maybe this is a romantic partner, a, um, a person that you have a relationship with, a family member, a friend. The knight of pentacles and the seven of swords. Not so dependable. Somebody's not doing something that they said they would do that uh, is expected of them. Definitely, guys, the seven of swords and the seven of pentacles. That is what is haunting you. Let's read. Let's read. The seven of claws. There's no reverse meanings in this deck. So I'm not going to read the Knight of Pentacles because it's reversed. I'm seeing the Knight of Pentacles as just some you're somebody not following through with something, whether this is you, Cancer, or somebody else. And as a result, um, it's not, there's no progress being made. Seven of Swords, the Seven of Claws. Let's read. You see it? It's right there. Let's read it. This card represents hiding in plain sight and getting away with something you probably shouldn't be doing. If you're going to attempt invisible mischief, you must be aware of the risks. You see, know your enemies, know your desired outcome, and know that you can only delay consequences. You can't hide from them forever. You, hello, you see? This Knight of Pentacles reversed, guys. Let's read it. Let me just show you. And it's pretty much the opposite of that if it's reversed. So let's see what this Knight of Pentacles says. The Knight of Castles. Look. It's right here. All right. 
The management is committed to hard work. <laughs> so the management is not committed to hard work. <laughs> Refuses to entertain the demands of the opera ghost and instead dedicates its time to the success of the opera session. So this is not dedicating the time to success. Consider the management's presence and encouragement to continue your routine. This is not following routine, right? It goes with the message. Even if it feels mundane, it is bringing you closer to your goal. So you see there's this, this represents something that is not allowing you, allow, allowing you to meet your goals, getting you closer to a certain goal. In fact, it, it is keeping you away from accomplishing something, right? And it has everything to do with the seven of swords. Something that you're not, somebody's not supposed to be doing that is causing negative consequences. This hiding in plain sight and getting away with something you probably shouldn't be doing. So you see, I'm hearing this didn't happen by accident is pretty much, this is what's haunting you. This didn't happen by accident. It happened on purpose, <laughs> right? It, it, yeah and getting away with something you probably shouldn't be doing and somebody trying to get away with it perhaps. Well, the Knight of Pentacles does not lie, right? Results don't lie. The outcome, the way things are progressing are a true reflection of what has been done, right? There's no hiding that, right? If you're going to attempt invisible mischief, <laughs> interesting, you must be aware of the risk. Know your enemies, know your desired outcome and know that you can only delay consequences. So we could say this Knight of Pentacles are consequences, right? Yeah. You can't hide from, from them forever. Okay, I'm trying to hide from this. Ah, don't show me, don't tell me. All right, let's see. What is this about? Well, that's what's haunting you, all right? Let's see. <clears throat> let's shed some further light on this matter and see what spirit wants to expose, reveal further about this situation. We have the four of castles, the four of pentacles. Okay, let's get one more card. The four of pentacles. You know, the four of pentacles talks about holding on to things too tightly, holding on to doing things out of comfort not wanting to step out of your comfort zone, avoiding something that feels uncomfortable. We have the tower. Okay. And I'm reading out the book, guys, because this is such an awesome deck. I mean, look, we have Dracula here at the, at the bottom, which is the emperor. All right. For some of you, this could be resonating, resonating with you in connection to work. And this Knight of Pentacles talked about management, not following through with something. And uh, whatever's not being followed through on is trying to be neglected, trying to be swept under the rug. Like, oh, yes, I did that, but uh, let's not focus on that. But that's kind of hard, right? Because the present circumstances, the present reality, Pentacle suit, Knight of Pentacles are a reflection of what has already taken place, right? Consequences and repercussions. Okay, if this is happening or if this has gotten this bad or this looks like this now, it's a result of these actions, right? All right, four of castles. The legacy of Tal Talbot Castle is clear. Generations of hard work and strong family connections have maintained its impressive presence and it stands tall as an example of what long-term planning can do. Similarly, you should be mindful of your resources and make sure you're putting them toward a solid, sustainable future. And then we have the tower. Guys, this is what's haunting you. It goes, doesn't it go? All right, so this is talking about planning. It's talking about longevity. It's about something holding up, right? It's, it talks about you planning for something, right? And it stands tall as an example of what long-term planning can do. This is somebody didn't plan somebody something out. You didn't plan something out. There is a step that you missed somewhere along the way. 
And perhaps, right, um, this is spirit shedding light on the situation, which could be this is the reason why it happened, right? Or this is why this is happening. The tower is here, guys. So something obviously has gone wrong, but don't worry. We're going to take a look at what can clear this haunting, right? What will help the situation. Similarly, similarly, you should be mindful of your resources and make sure you're putting them toward a solid, sustainable future. Guys, so I feel like this is saying it's important for you to invest, right, in the outcome it is that you want, guys. It's important. And that, okay, will be easier perhaps by acknowledging what went wrong. There's something here that um, is being avoided in, in some way or another. Now, we have the tower, that's a fun one, isn't it? I love the tower. Can you believe that the tower is actually not my least favorite card in the tarot? I love the tower. I mean, it's dramatic. <laughs> my least favorite card in the tarot is the four of cups, guys. Gosh, that card, every time I see it, I just dislike it so much. I want to get it and rip it up. I just don't like it. I hate that card. Yes, I actually, that's the worst card in the tarot, the Four of Cups, because, gosh, it's so ungrateful. <laughs> Disappointment. Gosh, let's not talk about it. The tower. Let's talk about the tower. The tower calls, the tower calls you to accept destruction so that you can rebuild something stronger. Well, something went up in flames. And it wasn't an accident. No, 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 no. It wasn't an accident. No, it wasn't. Something went up in flames. Something that was supposed to last forever, right? <laughs> Something that was supposed to turn out beautifully just went horribly wrong. This card represents monumental change. Perhaps not a fiery, not may, perhaps not as fiery as the windmill the villagers burn, but just as life altering. The important reminder here is that the mill stops a monster's accidental destructiveness and breaks the nearly fatal fall of Dr. Frankenstein. Although you cannot avoid the upheaval heading your way, you will ultimately gain much needed space for creation, new learning and self-discovery. Pretty much learn from this situation. Hey, it's okay, Cancer. We all go through these. Eh? We all have towers throughout our lives, okay? You can't do this anymore. Whatever this is, whoever this is, this can't continue to happen. You can't, you can't skip over this. There's obviously a mistake that happened. There's a mistake. This was a mistake of some sort, okay? Whether it was on purpose or accidental, okay? This was a mistake, the Knight of Pentacles reversed with the Seven of Swords, okay? And the best thing that we can do when the Seven of Swords is here is just to accept accountability because it will follow you around. The Seven of Swords is also getting caught, right? So it's like, you can't run away from this. I mean, you can for, you know, this X amount of time, but eventually it catches up to you. And this is what's happening here with the Four of Pentacles and then the Tower. Oh my goodness. Perhaps Four of Pentacles, something I thought was safe, was secure, was indestructible, all of a sudden uh, um, proves me wrong and goes up in flames. Maybe this is about a career, right? You're a certain position at work. Like I thought I was good, but then this happened and gosh, uh, it's making me rethink everything, right? The tower. Although you cannot avoid the upheaval heading your way, you will ultimately gain much needed space for creation. So many, many of you are having to start all over again. I'm here and rethink this through, start from square one. And that might seem terrible, but considering the situation, this is, this is actually, this is actually good. This is an opportunity. I'm here for a new creation to start anew and for self-discovery. Interesting. Okay. So how do we clear this haunting? How do we clear this haunting cancer? How do we clear this haunting? This is help. This is support. This is advice. This is guidance. How do we clear this haunting? 
for you, Cancer. How do we clear this haunting, Holy Spirit? What is the solution here? We have the Queen of Candles. I love this. The Queen of Wands. And then we have the Two of Candles, the Two of Wands. Okay, let's read. Queen of Wands. I don't know, this seems like a helping hand, doesn't it? not a helping hand it's just something pleasant right there's an exchange happening here like trust as well like yeah and with the two of wands i mean the two of wands talks about a plan planning queen of wands absolutely it's it's in a, this situation it you 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 have to have a plan <laughs> Oh, yes. First on the list. I need a good plan <laughs> to get me out of this one. Queen of Candles. Wait for it. I'm looking at castles. Candles. Candles are wands. The Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. All right. Irresistible, charming, and always up for adventure. This is a queen you simply can't ignore. Under her influence, everything seems just a little bit easier. The parties are livelier, the champagne is more sparkling, and even the count seems welcoming. <laughs> Harness her love for life and let the good times roll. Irresistible, charming, always up for adventure. This is a queen you simply can't ignore. Interesting. Let's read this two of wands. I feel like this is taking a different turn. Hmm. Like the lanterns, like the lanterns of the Rita, Rita, the two of candles illuminates a choice between embarking on a thrilling adventure or sticking to familiar waters. I feel like that's what's been happening, guys, here, right? Sticking to familiar waters because the queen of wands, there's a sense of an adventure and embracing, right? This, this energy that's... um so alluring and charming and, and fascinating and fun, exciting, thrilling, right? This queen of wands. So that needs to be you. That's, I feel like that needs to be your energy. That's what you need to be embracing. And for many of you guys, I feel like what has gone wrong is this four of pentacles, guys, which is what? Sticking, sticking, Sticking to familiar waters. Hello? Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye. Queen of Candles, this is sticking to familiar waters. That's that's where that's what the seven of swords is, guys. This is where you went wrong. Or somebody went wrong. Sticking to familiar waters, this four of pentacles. And that's what happens in the four of pentacles. We don't want to come out of our comfort zone, which tends to, well, here with the tower, I feel like you're being forced, right? You're being forced. And perhaps that, the, 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 the way you're being forced is by encountering, you know, a, ne a negative outcome, like the situation just turns, uh, it goes horribly wrong in some way. And it's that outcome there, this tower that pushes you to do something different, to step out of your comfort zone. Right? Yep, that's what it is. The queen of, yeah, this two of wands. Where was I? Yeah, it's right here. I lost it. Hold on. Like the lanterns of the Rita, the two of wands illuminates a choice between embarking on a thrilling adventure, the queen of wands, or sticking to familiar waters. What has sticking to familiar waters done, guys? It gave you this tower. It gave you this tower, guys. So step out of your comfort zone. I mean, either way, you're going to be uncomfortable. But do you want to be uncomfortable with the queen of wands, which is thrilling, it's fun? It is risky, right? Something risky. I mean, look at her face. Like, should I do this? That's a monster. That's Dracula, as a matter of fact. That's the count there. Like, I don't know. Go ahead. That's better than the tower. 
A choice between embarking on a thrilling adventure or sticking to familiar waters. Whichever direction you sell, be sure to keep your ultimate goal top of mind and act accordingly. So ask yourself, what is the goal it is that I have? First and foremost, right? What did we say a little while ago? First on your list right now, something has gone horribly wrong, guys. You're having to step out of your comfort zone. First, let's get, let's just get, make that clear. But what's really important is that you identify your goal. What goal is it that you have? What is the goal here? What is the goal, guys? Be sure to keep your ultimate goal top of mind and act accordingly. That's what we have. This is how you clear this haunting, guys. Oh my goodness, get out. And then we have the six of wands. We have the six of wands, guys, which is victory. It's success. So listen, you can come out of this triumphant, guys. You can change. You can change this. I mean, you can't change what has already happened, but you can change the way things will continue to move forward, how the way things continue to unfold. You you can change that, guys. This is how this is how you do it. Let's read that six of wands. Guys, you've cracked the code. Hello, you've cracked the code. All burners are on high. Your theories have proven true and everyone is buzzing about your latest breakthrough. Enjoy the praise and take a moment to revel in the feelings of accomplishment, but keep those fires burning. Change things up. Step out of your comfort zone, guys. Don't avoid this. Don't, don't avoid this guys, go for it. And you will be, you, you will not be, you won't regret it guys. Not with the six of wands. All right. Now let's get a closing message from the wisdom of the house of night. All right, let's see. Closing message from my dear cancer. If you want to book a reading with me, guys, you can do so by going to the link down below in the description box. It's going to take you to votrevoyagetarot.com where you could book a private reading with me. This is a great time to book a reading because there's a sale going on on my website. So go check it out right now. All right, closing message for my dear cancer. Closing message. We have High Priestess of Earth. High Priestess of Earth. Let's read. Wisdom of the house of night. Three could be of significance. Number three, when you choose the symbol of the high priestess of earth, I nix goddess of night am nudging you to take care of your health and your beautiful body. Oh, wow. Take care of yourself, guys. Take care of your health. Take care of your health. Take care of your physical body. Very important message, okay? All right, now let's get a closing message, guys. One final message for you. Cancer from the classic horror oracle. Let's see. Final message for my dear Cancer. Final message from the classic horror oracle. You know what, guys? No, 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 no. I wanted to pull more cards for you guys, but then something in me is like, no, 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 no. This one, this one, this one. Focus on this deck. Okay. Closing message for Cancer. Closing message for Holy Spirit. One final message for my dear Cancer. One last message for Cancer. Here it is. The call. The call. Let's look for it. The call. The call. Interesting. (laughs) Where are you? Okay, maybe there it is. The call. Scream. Uh, Oh, hello. Scream right there. I didn't see this guy. You should never say who's there. You probably want to let it go to voice mail. <laughs> Nothing good ever comes from an unexpected call from an unknown number. Self-awareness does not always constitute self-defense. Iron- 
Ironic distance can provide the illusion of safety. Can what you reframe really hurt you? The corrupt can't resist congratulating themselves. Bad news and misdirection can cut us to the quick if we give it half a chance. Cancer, turn off your ringer. <laughs> Cancer, this is what I have for you. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. As always, truly, it was an honor and my pleasure. You guys take care, okay? Bye-bye.